Welcome Ranjani Sharma for Trinity Mirror News. The headlines. Union Minister Nitin Gadkari insists for pollution-free methanol as fuel. Center initiated talks with engine manufacturers to make biofuel complaint engines for ships. Two Pakistan nationals to be given visa for medical treatment. External Affairs Minister Shushma Swaraj asked Indian High Commissioner in Islamabad to give visa. Wet ground conditions render pay impossible. Series ended in a one-all draw after two inspections. News in detail. Expressing concerns over pollution on land at the sea, Union Minister Nitin Gadgari said that constructing a new road lane cost the country rupees 80,000 crore and leads to 22% increase in automobile population. India must use pollution-free methanol as fuel like Sweden, which is switching over to it from diesel. He said that in a bid to reduce pollution at sea, the centre has initiated talks with engine manufacturers to make biofuel complaint engines for ships. Top LET militant killed in encounter in Kashmir Killed along with accomplice by security forces in an encounter in Palwama district. Top Lakshka e Taiba militant Wasim Shah, believed to be the main architect of the unrest last year in South Kashmir, was killed along with the accomplice by security forces in an encounter in Palwama district. Shah 23, also known as Abu Osama Bai, was killed at Litter area in Palwama, a place considered to be a safe haven for militants. This is the first counter-insurgency operation in litter area in four years. Jammu and Kashmir police had been tracking the movement of Shah, who is considered as the dawn of Hef, another stronghold of militant in South Kashmir, Sopian district. Continuing our humanitarian gesture, External Affairs Minister Shushma Swaraj has announced that two Pakistani nationals will be given visa for undergoing liver transplant surgeries in India. The minister said that she had asked the Indian High Commissioner in Islamabad to give visa to Nazim Akhtar, a Pakistani woman, for her liver transplant surgery in India. Swaraj said that another visa was being granted to Pakistani national Shabir Ahmed Shah who also required a liver transplant surgery. We'll resume back after a short break. Hmm, what color shirt should I wear? Varun, you have to wear a shirt. You are ready to wear a shirt. Sister, first impression, best impression. Then, choose the Ram Raj White shirt. You can choose the Ram Raj White shirt. You can choose the Ram Raj White shirt. Welcome back. Swine flu has claimed 12 lives in the national capital. At least 680 fresh cases of dengue have been reported in the city. Health Minister Satyendra Jain said that swine flu has claimed 12 lives, including 8 of Delhi residents, in the national capital this year. A total of 2,818 cases of swine flu have been reported till October 12, out of which 620 were traced to residents of other states. Out of 12 deaths recorded in the city, 8 were residents of Delhi and rest belonged to other states. According to data provided recently by four center-run hospitals, the H1N1 virus has claimed 47 lives, including 22 from Delhi this year till late August. At least 680 fresh cases of dengue have been reported in the city in the first week of October. Kerala ministers place Travancore Devaswam board chief comment on women's entry in Sabrimala. TDP welcomes Supreme Court decision. Kerala minister Kadam Kampalli Sundaran flayed the reported remark of Travancore Devasthanam board president that even if the court lifted a ban on entry of women in the Sabrimala temple, respectable women would not go to the hill shrine. TDP chief uh, Prayar Gopalakrishnan reportedly made the remark while welcoming the Supreme Court decision to refer the matter relating to the ban on entry of women between 10 to 50 years of age to Lord Ayapa Temple at Sabrimala to its constitution bench. 
the third and final T20 international between India and Australia was abandoned without a ball being bowled due to wet ground condition at the Rajiv Gandhi Stadium in Hyderabad. The decision to call off the contest after two inspection meant that the Paytm series ended in one all draw. The match referee Richard Richardson had an inspection of the outfield, especially the wet patches near the boundary, in the company of the two umpires. Later, a final call was taken that the ground was not fit to play as per international standards. That's it for the news bulletins. Thank you. Have a nice day.